Uh, we love the French. We are Francophiles today. We have proven it. And what better way of expressing your culture than through food? And how delicious does this sound? We spoke about it before the break. Chocolate eclairs with a bit of a coffee twist this morning. Eclairs, in fact, originated um, in France in the 1890s. Incredible. They've got a history, 1850s, in fact, and have obviously been a staple in bakeries around the world ever since. So we are leveling up the standard chocolate eclair with an addition of one of my favorite. I say one because I have many Barista Creations coffees, the vanilla eclair flavor. Mm. You get it coming through, like that vanilla mm. flavor, the slight toastiness. The flavors are absolutely amazing. And eclairs, I love, I love. Uh -huh. it's, it's very simple ingredients, but people get it wrong. They get Can very I make scared. You one? Can I make you one? Are you make me a coffee? Can I make you a coffee? Just yes, to help please. see you through the day. Okay, this so my special I'll start guy. on the eclair while you're making me that coffee. Thank you, I appreciate it. I've got some butter and some water in a pot, and that's the first step, right? You butter gotta, and, water and water in water. a pot. Okay. There we go. And you've got to let the butter melt. So this is for the dough. Hey, the, what, 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 am I, is it a dough? What do you call it? For the, the shoe. For the pastry. The shoe. For the shoe. Not the... the no, but it's for the, the shoe. Okay. Right, cool. Flour goes in, and the thing about shoe pastry is you cook the flour twice. This ah. is the first time you cook the flour, which is into your butter and your water solution. Okay. And you got to, you got to make. You this, made, is one of those, this, this is one of those things why you have to go to cooking school to become a really good chef. No, yeah? I was about to ask you, have you ever made mealy meal? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I make a good pup brew, so. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I do. we're going we're gonna, we're gonna we to put you to the test with that test, one. Buddy. So, what you're going to do is you're going to stir the, your, what, your, your flour or what you do. You even made it how I like it. How did you? Hey, look how beautiful. Just smell that, that clearness. The vanilla hey, comes off that's immediately. Eh? Okay, so gonna you're well. going to mix your flour into your water and butter solution. Okay. Until it makes like a very thick paste. So and you're going to keep on stirring it. Distance. Oh, wow, okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to actually camera. Here we go. I'm, I'm sorry, it was already overhead, but let me just do it again for. There we okay, go. You see what I mean? For my benefit, thanks. Okay. You know I mean? So, you're going to keep on stirring it until the sides of the bowl start to get a bit of a white residue. That's an indication that you have cooked the floweriness out of your dough. Is there a French term for the residue on the there side of the bowl? There probably is. When you're making shoe pastry, there must be, sure. And in, 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 we just say, do it until it's lecker. That's all we say. Okay, so keep on mixing. So it's going to take you on a very low heat. I've turned the heat down to like really low until you get that little residue. And then you bring it over here okay. onto a cooler surface. Okay. You have a sip of your coffee. You, you, Can it's I? important, yeah. You've got to have a sip of your coffee and then... Mm. Yes. Yes. I know. We'll be behind the scenes. This has the perfect ABC, the coffee ABC for me. Really? 100% Arabica, Brazilian, uh -huh. Colombian. Oh, wow. You can taste that. That's so... He knows his stuff, I huh? know my stuff. I know, yes. Okay, so give it a good mix. Okay. And now what we're doing is, we, as we're doing this, what we, we're trying to beat air into it to cool it down. Okay. okay. Because we're going to add our eggs Beat next. Beat it. Beat it. <laughs> yeah. We're going to add our eggs next. And we know if we add eggs to anything that's really hot, it's going to scramble immediately. For sure. So you're going to do this for about two minutes until you can put your hand under the pot and keep it there for like a proper one second without like crying. Okay. But you're a hard man. And I'm crying inside. That's yeah, fine. You're it's fine. Crying. Okay. So here we go. Mix it. And then here's the part that people get very scared. Yeah. When they for add sure. the eggs and they start mixing it in. Everything splits and they go, oh. oh, I've messed it up. Not. Sacre bleu. Yeah. Wow, really? Yes. <laughs> and you just keep on mixing it until that egg and the flour mixture comes together to form a paste. I'm going to do one because this does take a little bit of time when you mix it in. And you always do one egg at, at a time. time. Okay. So you mix, mix, mix. I'm going to show you what I mean by I say when it looks like it's when split. it separates. I'm going to do it over, over the camera so people can see. It's a little bit hot. Let me just turn this heat down over camera. You can see it looks like it's split. Oh, there we go. If I look at the, the thing, I can see it. Okay. The more you work with it, the more it starts coming back together again. And you mix, mix, mix. It's even happening now. See, all the oh. little individual pieces are coming back into one shoe pastry. Okay, I'm not going to add the other one because you've got to move on. Okay. Sometimes you've got to know when it's just Sometimes time. Sometimes you've got to let it go. Just let it go. No, okay. for sure. I, I feel you. I put my shoe paste into a piping bag. Okay. If you don't have one, two spoons. Two spoons of quenelle it beautifully to give you a beautiful quenelle, rounded okay, shape. Okay, but it's of your nice shoe. to have the grooves of a, of a piping kind yeah. of pipe if you've got one, but. You, exactly. You know what? We've sanitized our hands, everything's good. Graham, oh, sure, yeah. will you show me your, your piping skills? Oh. And I'm not saying you need to give me a perfect shoe like that. You make me a Graham inspired, make it round, make it zigzag, oh make it. Oh my goodness. Step in, step in. Well, I'm going to go, trying to get as close to the okay, position all right. as, as we can. 
How do you... Um... You've done this before. Is this in your past life when you worked in, in France as a pastry chef? That's a new technique. Get a knife. But what get would knife. you normally do? How would you do it? How would you, you kind of twist it like you've done and then pull it up and you're going to get a little beautiful tail. And I'll show you how to handle that tail. Okay, 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 you're doing it, you're doing it, amazing. Now pull it like, oh, back, back, that way, that way, that way. Pull it up, pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. Get up, tail. Ah, uh, you know? Yes, well, it's okay. A tail, it's a so tail now of what's going to happen is you've got the thicker end and yeah. the smaller end. So when it bakes, your tail's going to bake faster than your end. So what you're going to do is you're going to kind of tuck it in. Dip your finger in water for me. Okay. okay. I'm going to start on the cream. And you dip your finger in water and you kind of push that tail in. Get in a little, like, a, like my sausage dog. Get in. Yeah. Here we go. You're doing it. I'm, I'm smashing it through. Those look like, look at that, man. Yes, yes, Look at yes, that, man. Yes, okay. G for great. Back to you again. So, you can start whipping on your cream. So, chilled cream, we made our beautiful espresso earlier, and we let it chill because we're going to add Whoa. it to our cream. And if you add hot coffee to your cream, it's never going to thicken. There's a lot of cream going I everywhere. I want to say it. I started it, and that's why I swapped with you. Oh, is that, you threw me no, under no, the bus no, 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 there, man. I'm sorry, I didn't do that for you. Okay. So let's stop it for a second. It's starting to thicken nicely. What oh. we're going to do is we're going to add some icing sugar for that sweetness. Yes. And because we've got to bring the coffee in. Yeah, Normally I like my eclair with a coffee. Today I'm going to have my eclair made with coffee and a coffee in the on coffee, the side. On the coffee, with the coffee. There we go. So you're going to keep on giving that a good mix. <laughs> it's going to come together nicely. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Okay, so while that thickens, let's pour it over. I'm going I'm to say you're fine. I'm going to say you're okay. I'm going to say you're okay. <laughs> you're going to chill that. Hey, what a naughty guy you I'm are sorry, today. Man. You're a I'm naughty sorry. guy, man. And you made me a coffee and I treat you uh, badly. Exactly, no. bro, exactly. Okay. No, so maybe. I'm going to trek all the way over here. I dip the tops of my eclairs into malted chocolate yes, to get that beautiful did. chocolate glaze on top. Yes, you did. All right. Spooned in your beautiful coffee cream. Yeah. And then you just, you just, you just admire it from a distance. Oh. And once that coffee glaze sits on the top, you just bite in. That's why you have two hands. Give it a bite there, sure. It's for a coffee in one hand. Uh-huh, grab it. And an eclair in the other. This feels like a moment okay. to have a bit of, of theme music. I don't know if... You see, but I didn't, of... I didn't prep them for the theme music, so oh. it's not going to happen. Man, I'm hearing music. That it was worth getting covered in whipped cream for. Um, hey, and beautiful. <laughs> it's delicious. It's it so is good. delicious. You can find it on expressoshow.com. Go and do yourself a favor. Make this, make like 30 so you can have for the whole weekend. And smash them. Cheers. Don't be polite. Smash yeah, no, them. Smash it in your face hole. Go. <laughs>